This is obviously not a good idea, and we all know it. Like, we're not going to get any of these right. When I found out we were taking a high school test, I was terrified. Me in high school didn't really click that much, you know? I don't think I was a terrible student in high school, but I definitely don't think I was smart enough to, like, actually retain that knowledge and put it down onto paper today. I didn't go to class a lot. This was 10 years ago, and that whole time I was drinking. And that was the ceiling of my learning. Ceiling of my learning? I do have a photographic memory, so maybe I could get some, like, weird flashbacks, and then I'll kind of know. If I don't get them right, at least I know I didn't get them right. Knowledge is all also about knowing what you don't know. The fuck does that mean? You like that, right? Yeah, dick. <laughs> Oof. I'm or I already <laughs> <laughs> The first question, no way. Shit. Wait, I know this. Can you stop moving? You're making me more nervous than I already am. You're like you're freaking me out here. You're just swaying back and forth, and I can see the outline of your fucking meat. Is, that, is it good? It's distracting. I'm, right. I'm trying to focus. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got Macbeth. I got dick over here. Oh, there's a math question. I don't even know what that word means, but it feels right. I'll just say the word that they use, matrix. I'll be really honest with you. I only thought the matrix was a made-up word for the movie. <laughs> How can I answer this question if I can't understand the answers even? I was good at math. Not this math. Are you still number two? Get out of my face. Okay. All right. There's some big words on here. Yo, these questions are so long. This is, this, this is bullshit. This one right here is bullshit. Dude, what is this? I have to read? Oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should know. I should, I should know, but I don't. Oh, I know, I know five, a hundred percent. Number five, got that one. Oh, nope. No, I'm not. Oh, there's a Spanish question? That's fucked up. This is cheating. You guys are Spanish. I could not know less about this question. Miss Rosenblatt is gonna be pissed when I get this wrong. That was my Spanish teacher in eighth grade. Oh my God, they're talking to me like I'm a four-year-old here and I still can't get it. Knowing how this country works, I'm gonna just go with that. What does that mean? Exactly. I also had a Spanish teacher who was Chinese in uh, seventh grade. I failed that class. One second, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> I just took a peek at number 10. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna pick this answer because I just like it the most. Oh wow, this is just a cool answer. This one's awesome. That's fire. All right, I don't know how any high schooler would know this next question. Holy shit, 10. I'm gonna draw for this. Whoa, 10 is a... I have no idea what I've done. <laughs> is this like PEMDAS or PEMDAS or whatever the fuck? Nope. This is a graphing question? Yeah. Oh, so where's my TI-83? Let me get it out to a parabola or something. Yo, I have no fucking clue. Like, I don't even know what to guess. That's how stupid I am right now. All right, so that that's that. Uh, that's how that happened just now. I would say I got maybe one out of 10 and that's a stretch. I think we're all gonna do just as bad. <laughs> Literally, like I don't, I have no hope for you guys. All right, well now it's time to see the results of the test. Um, none of us are confident. I put an F for Frank on the top of mine, but I, I know it's now for failing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to question one here. Uh, can't, it started off real fucking hot. Uh, in William Shakespeare's Macbeth, Macbeth and Lady Macbeth frame who for King Duncan's murder by smearing blood on their faces while they are passed out? A, Banquo and Fleance? <laughs> B, the king's sons, Malcolm and Donald Bane. C, the Chamberlains. What are Chamberlains? Chamberlains. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> and D, the three witches. I put the Chamberlains. I put the king's sons. I put the king's sons. The answer is... Oh, that's not it. The Chamberlains. Question two. If a matrix has the dimensions 2x3, what exactly does that mean? So it's two by three. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> two x three. <laughs> I said 2x3 to be safe. I know people like say they get lost in the matrix. 
So I thought it was I thought it was uh, the first one. Oh, I said second, two rows, three columns. Yeah, that I, that sounds more right though. I said two rows, three columns because in the movie, like when the letters are falling, they're falling like down, yeah. like in columns. That's why I said. That. <laughs> the only <laughs> reason I use deep is because they go into the matrix. <laughs> All of our answers are based off the movie. <laughs> all of them. All of them. The correct answer is two rows, three columns. Well, you guys are two for two. I'm two for <laughs> two. Three. Which United States president is famous for his 14 points plan during World War One? A. Warren G. Harding. B. Theodore Roosevelt. C. Woodrow Wilson. Or D. Herbert Hoover. Yo, I knew one word on here, one name, and that's the one I went with. Theodore. Teddy. I, I think that wasn't that like World War Two. No, no, that was World War One. I. I, I went. I went <laughs> Franklin Delano, FDR was World War Two. Oh, that might be the it. guy with no like uh, polio. He had polio. I went with that war. That sucks. <laughs> it's trash, yo. Yeah, yeah. Polio is polio trash. Is trash. Polio yeah. is trash. Unanimously garbage. For sure. Obviously, For yeah. Sure. We get a hundred on it. Uh, is polio trash? We all get hundred. Wait, so who'd you put? Vaccinate. I put Teddy. Okay, who'd you put? I put Warren G. Harding just off the song Regulators. <laughs> Warren G. So I was like, I'm gonna go with Warren G. Harding. I didn't know who that was, so I didn't put that. I put Woodrow Wilson, literally because it was below Theodore Roosevelt, who I thought was World War II, which was wrong. So I don't know how this. <laughs> you, you still might be right. Um, it's Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! How are you doing this? Four. Four the worst question I've this ever seen. This is something else. When the Articles of Confederation proved to be a failure for the United States, the U.S. Constitution was proposed. Mm -hmm. Those who supported the Constitution were called what? And those who did not support the Constitution were called what? I didn't even read this question. I just saw it <laughs> and picked an answer. Because uh, it was too much. I did, that. I did that a couple times. So I, I think if times. I read it, it I would have had a little bit better of a chance. Yeah. yeah. Still not a whole lot of a chance. Mm -hmm. I said Federalist and Anti-Federalist. I said that too because I feel like the federal government and you're a federalist if you like support it and right. you're an anti if you don't support the I, federal I see confederation I see constitution so I went with constructionist the answer is federalist and anti-federalist I am fucking four for four and on fire and the smartest person who's ever graced the lands All right, I got one right so that's you we're, we're creeping up to my over <laughs> Five, when using commands in the Spanish language, what is the correct way to tell a person to speak using the usted form? Usted. A, I habla. B, habli. <laughs> <laughs> C, hablo. Or D, hablé. Hablé. The only one I know it's not is oh. C, hablo. That's, yeah. that's, that's me. That's yo. Yo, soy. yo hablo. Yo, yo soy. Yeah. Yo, no. Ustedes. Yo, yo hablo. <laughs> You have no clue what you're saying. I know. I said hable. <laughs> I, said, I said hable. I said habla. I think you're right. Because it said because, the usted form. That, because that confused it goes for, me. No, because it, it might it might go to I that. thought habla was like... I that think it's hablo, habla, habla, hablas, hablamos, yeah. hablero. <laughs> Nosotros es hablam, hablamos. 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 Nos hablamos. Habla conmigo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, nothing. The correct answer is. Hable. 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 I got it right. The periodic table is made up of 18 groups. That was news to me, by the way, when I read that. <laughs> Some of these groups have specific names given to them because of the elements in the group. What name is given to group two of the periodic table? A. Halogens. B. Alkaline earth metals. C. Noble gases. Or D. Chalcogens. That's not right. Cal cal calcogens. I don't mm -hmm. You want to try? You want to give me one try it on? Calcogens. That sounds better. I put noble gases. I put noble gases. That's the only one I knew. Yeah. We all put noble gases? I, I know the earth metals are well, like I, in the middle. You put it, so I feel pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is... Noble gases, noble gases, noble gases. Yeah. Like earth metals? I'm telling you though, these next four questions, I'm gonna crush. In basketball, when a player is taking free throws, only so many people are allowed to occupy the free throw lane. Those players who are not in the free throw lane must remain behind what? A, three point line, B, refs, C, half court, C, uh, D, they can stand wherever they want. I put half court, but I don't think it's that's right. It's three point line. I, it is three point line, right? Mm -hmm. I, th I put half court too. It's three point line. Notably, you, you could stand in the backcourt if you want, but you have to be behind. The notably, not line. a big. You basketball can't stand guy, inside. So. 
Yeah. You can't stand inside the three-point arc. Because when I was younger, this is what I was saying. Like, this, I feel like this is a rule that people don't abide by. Because when I was younger, they would make us stand at half court. Three-point line. Yeah. Fuck. Hot streak is over. In Charlotte Bronte's Jane... <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how to pronounce this. In uh, Charlotte's book, uh, Jane... Irie. Ayer. Air. Air. What shocking detail about Mr. Rochester's... About Mr. Rochester is exposed on his and Jane's wedding day. A. He is only marrying Jane for her great wealth. B. He is going to make Jane take care of the insane grace pool. The fuck is that? C. He murdered the opera dancer. <laughs> I didn't know they were opera <laughs> dancer. Opera dancer. D. Was he is keeping his maniac wife locked in the third floor of his home? I picked it yeah, too. Me too. I picked that. <laughs> I picked that just because who's thinking to have that answer. Yeah. You know, who's making that up out of thin air? It also enticed me the most. Uh, the answer is... And this is in the third floor. He's keeping his maniac wife. Yeah! yeah. The maniac wife, bitch. Oh, wait, no, I got that crazy right. Crazy bitches on the third floor. Keep them crazy bitches no. on the third floor. That was awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Really good. Nine. The first woman to become a justice of the U.S. Supreme Court was sworn in in what year? A. 1964. B. 1937. C. 1981. Or D. 1992. I put 92 because I was born in that year. Could work out. That's it. I put 64. I put 81. It wasn't 64. We were. They were still like civil were, rights. They were still like. It was that we weren't like treating women the way we should. Well, if we're being honest, we're still like that. <laughs> I think it was eighty one. Wasn't it wasn't is it Ruth Bader Ginsburg? I don't know who that is. You don't know who RBG is? RBG? Now you're giving her a nickname? R- I know RG three. I know RG three. Okay. I know Roy G Biv. Oh, we all have different answers. Let's see how this goes. Eighty one. Eighty one, yes. son of a bitch. Frankie's on top. My birth has let me down. Always. always on top. I'm not always on top. Game you my oh baby be mine I'm not always there when you call uh, always on time double uh gave you my own Make it what so baby be mine uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a ja Rule. it's a ja Rule's part right you cared so 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 who we cares? cares we, we care baby, baby. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. The guy sang for a living. Last question. Fuck. Goodbye to this question, by the way. Y equals... Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> y minus three. Y minus three equals eight. Parentheses. In the parentheses is X plus five. Close the parentheses. To the second power. I had trouble even reading that. Yeah, I don't know. And then it says... The question is, what is the axis of symmetry of this equation? It's A, Y equals negative 24 y equals negative 3, x equals negative 5, x equals 40. I put y equals negative 3, and I have no idea why. I just put, picked 5 because it's one of my favorite numbers. I put negative 3 also, just guessing. I put negative 5 because that's it. Negative 5, five is, one, negative of five five is one of your favorite well, numbers? Well, the number 5 is. He said <laughs> negative 5. <laughs> Can you imagine time. you ask someone, what's your favorite number? <laughs> I don't know, like negative 17? <laughs> negative 5. It is... Negative five. Yes. I got a six out of ten, dude. That's fire. I got a sixty. I passed in public school. I got a thirty. That's not great. I got five. You got five, right? Yeah. Shady five. A quiet Shady five. five. I five, think five, what this five, shows five, us. Five. Don't leave me hanging. Though. Oh, sorry. All right, before we go, we just wanted to uh, give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Slug Books. If you guys are in college and you're buying textbooks. You better use Slug Books to save a bunch of money, okay? Well, basically, what Slug Books does. Is you go on there, you plug in the books you're looking for. They compare all the prices across all the sites where you need to buy, rent, all that stuff. And uh, saves you a crap ton of money. From someone that did it, trust me, it's the best way to go. Yeah, me and Danny didn't buy textbooks. Yeah. We, we didn't go to college. No. Frankie, however, had to spend that guap. You, if you get a textbook that's like $200, you could find it for like 20 bucks online. So definitely check out slugbooks.com. Uh, they will compare all the prices. You'll get the lowest price possible. But yeah, if you're looking to save money on your textbooks uh, this semester, then definitely hit the link in my description, uh, slugbooks.com. What? You slow looked at me. I thought a punch was coming or something. No, no. I <laughs> want to sing more fucking Ashanti. Was that Ashanti? Yeah. I always get Ashanti and Aaliyah mixed up. One's dead. Well, well, that was the test. Uh, hope everybody had a good one. Um, high school was terrible. 
Uh, Ready? Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> oh! oh fuck, I hit this. Wow. Yo, I'm on fire today, dude. <laughs> I was super good at math. So you were nerd? No. Like, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs>